I'd just like to apologise for my sore red eyes today. I've got a touch of hay fever. I haven't been crying, honestly. <laughs> Welcome, I'm John and this is Fun with Phil Mora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Today I'm going to show you an effect called Rack Focus or Pull Focus. It's where you have a video and you have a foreground that might be blurred and the background might be in focus and then as you do the Rack Focus it changes so that the foreground then becomes in focus and the background becomes blurred. It'd be a lot easier to show you when I demonstrate it in a minute. But before I do, I'd love to know where about in the world you're watching my videos from. So please, if you drop a comment below, just let me know where you're watching them from. I'd be very interested and I'll reply. Right, let's jump into Filmora. I currently have this video of a sunflower. A large sunflower in the foreground and sunflowers in the in the rear there. And they're both in focus at the moment and I'm going to create this pull focus effect. So let me drag that down onto the timeline. Okay, and what I want to do first is I want to duplicate this because one of these clips is going to be in focus and the other one is going to be out of focus. And a simple way of duplicating the clip, you can do it a couple of ways, I'll show you each way. You can right click and do copy and then paste it onto the timeline above but what you can do is press alt on your keyboard click and hold the clip and drag it up to the next track and there we go we have two tracks there okay so the first thing we want to do is create a blur effect on these tracks so if we go to the effects tab and we search for blur b-l-u-r and the one I'm going to be using is Grainy Blair. I'm going to drag that onto the top track. And you can see it's all gone quite blurry now. In fact, it's a little bit too blurry. So I'll go up to the Effects tab and I'll change the blur intensity. I'll drop it down so it's not quite as blurred, not quite as strong. That doesn't look too bad. And you can increase the smoothness of the blur as well. That doesn't look too bad. And I'm now going to copy that effect onto the bottom track. And the way we do that is right click on the track with the effect on, copy effect, go onto the bottom track, right click and paste effect. Now if I hide the top track, you can see that the bottom track also has that effect on now, which is great. Right, I'm going to hide the top track for now and just work on the bottom track. And what I want is I want the effect of the background to start clear and then go blurred. So we go to the beginning of the track, we go to the effects tab, and we're going to do this by using keyframes. Again, make sure you're at the beginning. Click on blur intensity, or click on the keyframe in blur intensity, and drop that right down to north. You can see it, it all becomes clear. We then want to go to the end of the clip and we can do that by pressing the page down button on your keyboard or simply just dragging the playhead across till you get to the end. And now we want to add another keyframe and take the blur intensity back up to about, let's say eight. That looks quite good. What we want to do now is create the opposite effect on the top track. So let's unhide the top track and go back to the beginning. And we want the start of this track to be blared. So we click on the top track and it is blared at the moment. We go to the, and you, sorry, we need to put a keyframe in. Don't forget to put your keyframe in. Then we go to the end of the track and add another keyframe and drop that down to naught. That goes from blared now, when we play it, the top track. Blared to clear. Okay, what I want to do now is hide this part of the video and just have the main sunflower head on this video and hide all of this. And the way we do that is we click on the track, we go to video, AI tools, and we use smart cutout. So click on it to activate it. We click on to start the smart cutout. 
and we draw a line over the sunflower. Okay, let's just click on, click to start the small cutout now. Let that work as magic. That didn't take long. And then we save. And now you can see what's happened if I hide the bottom track. It's cut out this sunflower. It's left some in there. So what we can do is we can go in there and fix that. Click on the top track. Click on smart cutout again. And you can see there's some like purple bits in here. So what you can do is delete them. And you do that by using the eraser tool. So let's erase everything. All the extra little purple bits on here. And you can adjust the brush size to make that a bit easier for you. That's just showing you the size of the brush that you're going to use. The bigger the brush, the better when you're erasing, really, if it's a big area. So I want to make sure there's nothing left in there. I'll just erase all of that out, all the little bits. Let's try that again, see how that looks. Click on save. There's still a couple of bits down here by the petal, so we'll get rid of them. Click on that. What you can do as well, if it's a bit small to see, we can actually take up the magnification to 100% and we can move the image around by clicking on the little hand and then dragging. And you can see there's some little purple bits here. That means that they haven't been erased. So you can also change the preview mode to maybe see it better to a transparency grid and that makes it better. You can see all the bits that we don't want there. That makes it easier. So I'll use that one. You've also got the option to change it to black or alpha. In this case, black might be best actually. I can see what needs to come away from there. Okay, so click on the eraser tool again. And again, we can just erase these bits out. Go around the edge of the petal there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll move it up slightly by clicking on the hand, don't forget, and dragging and clicking. And back to the eraser tool. And I'll get rid of these few bits here. That's not required. And don't forget you can change the brush size on the eraser tool, make it smaller to get all the little finer details. I mean, if you take your time on this, you can do a really good job. I'm not saying this isn't going to be a really good job. I'm just doing it quite quick. Okay, so let's erase some of this as well. Make the brush size a bit bigger. I'll go back to fit on the page. There's a couple of bits there I can I can see need getting rid of. Okay, and that looks okay. Don't forget, once you finish doing your editing, always click to start Smart Control again. Otherwise, you lose where you're up to. Just give that a minute. That won't take long to do. And again, click on Save. And now we can see there's all black there. And if we unhide the bottom track, that looks great. So now, when we play it, we should have this rack focus or pull focus effect. And there you see it. Let me show you that again. So the large sunflower is blurred to start with. And as it plays, that will come into focus. And the background is in focus. And when it plays, that will go out of focus. There we go. And you can only generally do that within a video camera. It's hard to do afterwards. Filmora makes it quite easy, especially with uh, the tools that they provide for you. So that was just a quick little tutorial on how you can use the pull focus or rack focus effect. It's a great little thing. It's used many times in TV, films, etc. And like I said, hopefully you can use it in your videos. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you can use it in some of your videos. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.